been stuck inside the house with your family for four weeks now. Neil Jones is starting to get stir crazy. Here is tonight's top five. I don't know about you, but life as I knew it is now over. My son is sequestered at the University of Missouri, and I can't get any closer than 10 feet from my wife and daughter. And that got me thinking about the top five people I'd actually like to be quarantined with. Number five, Dolly Parton. Do you have any idea how long I've wanted to include Dolly in one of my stories? And not for the reason you think. I actually met her at my parents' TV station back when I was eight or nine, and she could not have been any nicer to a shy nine-year-old. And that quality was on display again this week when she donated a million dollars to COVID-19 research. And Dolly found a way to entertain people online over Easter, although she says she hates quarantine. Let's face it, anybody who can survive traveling the country with Porter Wagner can survive this virus. Number four, Brad Pitt. I've always had one rule about Pitt, never watch his movies. But now the longtime heartthrob is an Academy Award winner. Plus he's a University of Missouri guy, so we could actually talk Tiger football, Mizzou basketball, and the Golden Girls. And how many Academy Award winners like telling stories about Norm Stewart? But I do have one major question to ask him. Why in the world did you break up with Jennifer Aniston? He definitely carries that Missouri Tiger curse. Number three, Kevin Stitt. Don't know who he is? I wish I didn't. When faced with strong recommendations from the country's health care experts, many believe that the Oklahoma governor punted on his responsibility. He claimed he didn't have the authority to enforce social distancing. But more than that, he chose to be out front on social media bragging about taking his family out to a crowded restaurant, a decision that drew bipartisan criticism. The question I'm dying to ask him, what were you thinking? He'd better hope that no OU football players get sick. Number two, Patrick Mahomes. Imagine the stories Patrick can tell, like the 91, the NFL MVP award. This season was special. And there was a lot of people that helped me get to this point. And of course, the Chiefs Super Bowl victory. It's not all Patrick. Um, he'll be the first to tell you that. But it's a good place to start. And if we get tired of discussing the Chiefs, we can always talk about how my Sooners always beat his Red Raiders. Sorry, Patrick. And Ellen. I never thought it happened, but perhaps George Brett and Lenny Dawson are no longer the coolest guys in Kansas City. And that brings us to number one, our new KCTV5 general manager. His first name's Charlie, but everybody's afraid to ask him how to pronounce his last name. Henrik. Hey, GMs always like to cut overhead. And I'm overhead. The best way to survive a regime change is to forge a relationship with your new boss. In fact, if I'm friends with the GM, I don't have to be friends with the news director. Who hates me? Neil! So I've come up here to say hi to Charlie. He's right upstairs in that corner office. Hey, Charlie, I'm down here. It's me, Neil. At least I made a good impression. Idiot. I'm Neil Jones, and that's this week's Top 5. Hey, Charlie!